you get what you're looking for. You're listening to the Home Sellers Advantage. I'm Aaron Zapata, your co-host. And I'm Todd Anderson, your other co-host. We are the Bald Brothers team at Impact Realty Group with Real Broker, and we are here to give you the Home Sellers Advantage. You can find us online at www.baldbrothers.tv. Again, that's baldbrothers.tv. Or you can call us at 833-305-BALD. That's 833-305-2253 today. Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us again on this episode of the Home Sellers Advantage. And we are talking to you, the homeowner, because we want to give you the best advantage possible in today's market. And this is live, current, ever-changing, what's going on in the market. Uh, And I'm here with my co-host, Todd Anderson. Welcome, Todd. Welcome, Aaron. And it is, uh, we are now in the month of June. We are. And it's been a wild year so far. And we've had a lot of things happening in the real estate market. And uh, things are kind of all over the place, aren't they? They are. And one of the biggest things that's been changing, if, if you are looking at selling, you probably have heard about commission lawsuits and different things like that. But we're not here to talk about that today because that really is an individual choice when it comes to what and if you want to pay a commission to a buyer's agent. Uh, little known fact is that it always has been. It just maybe <laughs> hasn't been clearly explained to yeah. a lot of sellers. Uh, but Todd, you and I, when we meet with a seller, we, we clearly go through the options. Yep. We always go through that. We, we discuss uh, the options that the seller has to, to pay out a commission. And really, we, we talk about our fee and what we charge. And then we talk about what uh, we recommend they pay out to the buyer's agent as in the form of a commission. And, and you may say, well, why don't you just go really low? Well, the fact is, if you go really low, then people don't show your home. Right. And so there's got to be a little bit of a carrot um, to bring people to actually look at the home and incentive to, to get that uh, the, the juices flowing, so to speak. And, and- That is a discussion we'd love to have with you at your dinner table when you are thinking about selling. Uh, The laws are constantly changing. This new one that's rolling rolling out is supposed to go into effect sometime in August and September. And so right now, everything is pretty much moving forward like normal Mm -hmm. as it has been for the last 100 years. Yeah, Yeah, that that conversation and that decision is not something that can be resolved on a a, a weekly podcast show. No, Uh, We have to really look at your scenario, your situation, your home, the community, the market that you're in. Uh, But that is just one of the discussions that we have. And that's one of the things that's been a hot uh, button, hot topic issue this year. And so... We'd love to talk to you about that. Uh, you can call us at 833-305-BALD, 833-305-BALD. But the nature of today's show really is talking to you as a homeowner in us trying to understand and to explain that you really get what you're looking for. Yeah. And, and you know, you, you even get what you're listening for. I, right before the store started, I, before oh, the have show have started, have started, I knew you were going to call me on that. <laughs> Before the show started, I was telling Aaron something about uh, we got to get more on something or other, and he thought I was calling him a moron. And I told him, I said, "You're you're just listening for that's what you're listening for." It was, it was. I'm so dejected. But you get what you're looking for, and you know, that's very true. When when you, when you're looking for things, you tend to find them. You tend to notice things. How how often have you uh, bought a new car, and all of a sudden you notice all the other people have have the same car as you? Because all right. of a sudden your right. eyes are peeled back. You're looking for those sorts of things. Yeah. Uh, and I just read a, a great book by a, a pastor, uh, Craig Groeschel, uh, The War, Winning the Battle of Your Mind, I think it was, mm-hmm. Winning the War of Your Mind or Winning the War in Your Mind. Um, and it was really, really good. It talked about that. Mm-hmm. It talked about how we do get what we're thinking, what we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, very powerful. Yeah. And and I would encourage you know anybody who is looking at reading a book mm-hmm. to uh, send us a comment and we'll send you a link to it. Yeah. But let's get back to the main show. Yeah. The, home, main the home seller's advantage. You yeah. get what you're looking for. Yeah. How, so how does this apply when it comes to real estate? Well, you guys need to know that we don't always get every listing. And we go on Shocker. appointments all the time. And uh, for n- any number of reasons, we are sometimes uh, rejected. We, we win 
more than we lose mm-hmm. when we take listings and we go yeah. on appointments. And uh, recently we, we lost out on an opportunity. And so I thought it would bring us to bring this to you guys to, to really give us some feedback and some comments, uh, our listening audience, our, our prospective clients, uh, we hope. Mm-hmm. Uh, this time we were, we, we said, hey, look, uh, I'm not going with you guys. And there were a couple of reasons given. Yeah. Uh, number one, we were up against somebody who had sold a previous property uh, just recently. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we were we were a, a, previ- against, a uh, previous property in that community. Correct. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, now when I initially started talking with this homeowner, uh, they weren't too enthused about how the previous transaction went. Mm-hmm. Hence why I was being invited to the table. Yeah. But familiarity won. Mm-hmm. And so this person was very familiar with how this other person worked. And, and I think it worked into her advantage currently and how she sees the uh, how she sees it playing all out. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're actually going to keep track of this one because yeah. I don't think it's going to play out the way that uh, this person believes. Yeah. So number one, we, we often don't win because of familiarity. Mm-hmm. You know, family member, friend, maybe a relationship with a past realtor yeah. uh, that did a great job. And so totally understandable that, that that's a huge obstacle for us to overcome. And no matter how good we are, sometimes we can't overcome that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that was given as a reason. Another, another reason that was given was that this other realtor was willing to start at a higher list price. Yeah. And that that's that topic bears a little bit more discussion, the the list price, because at the end of the day, you, the homeowner, are the one who makes the decision. We advise you uh, when it comes to advising you on what the market is doing, where we recommend listing the property. But at the end of the day, it's ultimately your decision as the homeowner. You have the control over how that happens. And so this happened to be an agent that was willing to list at a higher starting price, uh, but we gave a lower starting price. Now, oftentimes, agents will say, we'll just list it wherever you want. And then if it doesn't sell in a few weeks, then they go for a price reduction. That is not our philosophy on the best way to sell a home. Uh, a lot of people try it that way, but that's not our philosophy. Our philosophy is to really see what the market's doing and to come in at a competitive price and then work our way upward from there. But ultimately, we have taken listings, haven't we, Aaron, where we have suggested a started listing price and then we've gone higher based off of the wishes of the seller. And so that was a little bit of a disparity t- between that agent and, and us in terms of what we were recommending. Well, and, and this was a pretty big price gap, mm-hmm. and there are some obstacles to overcome regarding the condition and the location of this property. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, a listing agent isn't the one that actually sets the price. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you would like to get more detailed information from us and our, our in-depth perception, go back and listen to episode 37 on the podcast. Episode 37 is called How to Determine the Right Listing Price. We give you three pricing strategies. We'd love to send you th- there to go look at it. But in this case, you know, we, we had started at a, a price that was below what she was hoping for. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, let's march the market. And, and we have been talking with this person for probably four months mm-hmm. or maybe three months. And, and the market has continued to go up. And so I went back out there recently and said, hey, good news. We can, we can start at the price you're hoping for. Mm-hmm. And the email and the response that we got back saying, hey, you're not getting the listing, is that the other agent's going even higher than that. Mm. And so there is a stigma to properties that sit on the home for too long. Mm-hmm. The home buyers, and if you are, have you, if you've ever bought a home, you know this to be true that after 30 days, yeah, the question that a buyer asks about a home is why is it on the market? What's wrong with it? Yeah. And so why philosoph- isn't it selling? Yeah, the yeah. whole philosophy changes. When you first start out, yeah. you're, you think, could this be it? Right. Uh, and then if it's been on the market for over 30 days, you go back to see why isn't it that? Right. <laughs> why right. is this right. not the property right. so for you me? Get, again, going back to the whole philosophy, you get what you're looking for. Yeah. Now a buyer's trying to figure out why is this the wrong home? So they're going to go looking for all the faults in right. the home. Right. Whereas the first couple of weeks, you're looking for all the benefits that yeah. you, you love. And so we're part of Real Broker and... And uh, we have a a workplace where we can go online and we can all talk to each other. And one of the agents was talking about a flip that they were doing and and asking for, you know, just some advice, general advice on what to do uh, to price it. And our CEO, Sharon, he says, price it at a (laughs) dollar. He said, and let the buyers bid it up. (laughs) 
it would create a frenzy, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, and that's a true, like, extreme example yeah. of that the market will determine mm-hmm. what it sells for. Yeah. Ultimately, so, ultimately, yeah, yeah. agents can list it too low. We can list it too high, but ultimately, we're not the ones that decide what it sells for. The market does. That's right. Your home, in its current condition, mm-hmm. with current interest rates, with the current pool of buyers, will determine what the price can bear. Yeah. If you have a great home, low interest rates, and a ton of buyers, you're going to hit records. Yeah. If you have a mediocre home with high interest rates and not a lot of buyers, you're not going to hit your list price. So that is, you know, so that was one of the reasons that we didn't get it was Mm -hmm. because what we recommended being Mm -hmm. more aggressive, meaning lower Mm -hmm. on price. Yeah. Knowing that the market will adjust. Yep. Now here's where I think I failed. Okay. In this process. Is, Let's talk about your failures. Yes, here we go. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Todd, my therapist. <laughs> Who calls Aaron a moron, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently, that's how I need therapy. Uh, call it like it is. No, um, so what happened is, you know what I could have done? And we've done this before. In fact, we did it more during COVID mm-hmm. because of the not meeting in person. Yeah. But I didn't demonstrate visually mm-hmm. how our strategy works. Yeah. And you and I have the spreadsheet. Yeah. That we track all the offers. Mm-hmm. And we have multiple columns. First column, offer in. Second column, counter offer out. Third column, response. Mm-hmm. Right? And we can show property after property after property. Yeah, a track when record. We, yeah. when we price it aggressively, mm-hmm. that multiple buyers will bid. Mm-hmm. And this last one that we just closed out in Chino Hills Sold for ninety five thousand over the list price. It's actually a hundred thousand. Was it? Yeah, hundred thousand well, over the list price. Just call me a moron. Okay, <laughs> you moron. Hundred thousand, right? <laughs> uh, and we had fifteen or sixteen offers. Yeah. And the house didn't even have carpet mm-hmm. in one of the rooms. Yeah, it was missing carpet right? and had had some work needing, but it was an as is property. It was. We, no repairs were requested. Right. It was as is and sold for a hundred thousand over, and that wouldn't have happened if we had started yeah. at a higher listing price. That is correct, and and I think even more so. In that the seller, and, and we're thankful for the seller listening to our advice. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if they know that there's like a defect like that, yeah. they're more open to that kind of advice. Yeah. If it's like picture perfect, they're mm-hmm. not necessarily open to that advice because they have put money into it and stuff like that. And, and, but either way, mm-hmm. the price is determined by the market. Yeah. And so at the end of the day. At the end of the mm-hmm. day. And so that was a reason we didn't get this one. Yeah. The other reason. Other reason was, uh, well, let's see, uh, service. Oh, actually, it was a commission. Part of it was a commission. Part of the commission, yeah. Uh, it's, that, that, that was combined. It's really two things together. Uh, the agent was willing to do it for a lower commission, but the agent was also going to reduce the services that they were providing. So with our services for this particular home, and we don't do this for every home, and every home doesn't need it, but with this particular home, we were going to pay for and provide Uh, staging furniture Mm -hmm. to help with the marketing to bring more people in. Uh, And that is, that can can be quite a hefty cost that you and I pay for out of pocket. And so as a result, our fees are set a certain way because of the things that we like to do to market and to bring the best possible price for your home. So this particular agent had lower fees, but he also didn't offer some of those services. Well, and and I even, uh, in this case, we provided this owner with the option to pay for staging directly in lieu of a lower fee on our site. Yeah. And we've done that and before. So it was mm-hmm. very flexible. Yeah. And yet the other agent, I don't know what their contract is, you know, just basically she said that it was going to be lower all around. Mm-hmm. So again, you get what you are looking for. Yeah. And I know that there are homeowners that are very skilled, can do everything, everything themselves. Mm hmm. And there is an option for you. Yeah. If that's you, there is a for sale by owner sign that yep. you can purchase at any hardware store and you can do it. Mm-hmm. However, I would say that most homeowners are not comfortable going through the legal transaction. Once they open up that can of worms, it becomes very overwhelming. So yeah. finding a buyer for your home is just the first step. Yeah. Then going through the transaction process is a whole separate issue. And, and here, here's a here's a reminder. You're listening to the Home Seller's Advantage. We believe that you knowing this information is to your advantage because you may be looking for a discount broker. Yeah. You may be looking for somebody that's willing to do it on the cheap. Mm-hmm. And 
if you are trying to do everything on the cheap, you do get what you're paying for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I never want to open the yellow pages and find a dentist that says 50% off <laughs> or, you know, you know, or, or a brain surgeon that says, <laughs> Hey, discount brain surgeon, right? Yeah. There are certain <laughs> things in life. You want the best of the best for that, the brain that, surgery, especially. Yeah. yeah. Th- there are th- certain things in life though, where cutting corners and hiring discounted brokers may not be to your best advantage. Mm-hmm. For some yeah. of you, it's the right thing. Yeah. But this is a complex transaction mm-hmm. with multiple facets, from marketing to advertising to staging to photography. Uh, and in this case, we were provide we were going to provide a full list of vendors mm-hmm. that we have vetted out. Yeah. And who have preferred pricing. Mm-hmm. And so while we may not have saved them on a commission, they would have saved a ton of money mm-hmm. using our vendors to do the lot to do the work that needed to be done to this house. Yeah. Because we have pre-negotiated. Yeah. And so you win some, you lose some. Yeah. So we're going to keep track of it. Yeah, and just we'll so you all know who are listening, we would love for you to like and subscribe and give us a call to sell your house. But we don't win them all. So so you get what you're looking for. And and by the way, uh, best of luck to the, this poten- what would have been a potential client. Absolutely. Uh, best of luck. And we ha- we don't ever have any hard feelings. If somebody doesn't hire us, hey, no problem. In some cases, it's our friends that don't hire us because they've got other friends or family that's right. in the business. Right. We understand. We get it. Some people don't hire us because they hear Todd call me moron. <laughs> Well, hey, you know, we had one. We had, I don't, you remember this one a couple of years ago. I I think it's safe to say this one. Uh, We had one where Aaron and I showed up. We did a a listing presentation and it was a single man who lived by himself in in a home. And here there's two bald middle-aged guys coming with our presentation and how we're going to sell his home, get top dollar. I know where this is going. You know where this is going. And we lost to a single female younger. She had hair. (laughs) Yep. Uh, I would imagine she was probably fairly good looking, yep. uh, and we lost to her. Uh, two middle-aged, bald guys that are happily married with with their kids, we weren't what he was looking for. He was looking for something else. <laughs> that is true. Uh, you know, so <laughs> that is a very unique story to tell, Todd. Thank you so much. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm a little <laughs> blushing over here uh, because it was very obvious what he was looking for, and, yeah. and we weren't it. So here's here's the deal. There are other reasons, I'm sure. Those were the reasons we were given. And we are not always given reasons. But it was helpful for us to analyze this. Yeah. Again, I think, yeah. have we been able to show the advantages of what we do and how we do it? I think, in the end, you know, we, we probably will could have gotten more. Yeah. But I'm going to know. I'm going to monitor it. Yeah. Gonna, like we do all the listings that we don't get, we go back and monitor. And, uh, and, and you know, just look at them. And just like you, this is the home seller's advantage. We, we, we give tips to help you grow as a home seller. But you know what? All of these are learning experiences for us, how we can also do a better job. So we didn't get this one listing. In some cases, we realized maybe there's something we could do better. Uh, in other cases, we realize no, it's this is what we provide. And if we're not what you're looking for, then that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're always looking to improve as well, though. Well, and, and you have to know uh, personality types. Yeah. Right. You, you just you want to make sure that you are comfortable and that you like this person or team, uh, Todd and our team that you're going to be working with for the next 60 to 90 days. Mm-hmm. Uh, in some cases, we're working with people a year in advance. Yeah. We got a new listing coming up. We talked to them for the first time over a year ago. Yeah, that's right. And now we've been working with them through the summer. We're going to put a house on the market here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's great. Mm-hmm. But we've literally been in communication for over a year. Yeah. With this gentleman. That's so, right. There are certain things that are going to happen. Yep. And we just want you to know that if you are thinking about selling, a couple of scenarios. Uh, perhaps you are moving out of state. Mm-hmm. Todd and I have done so many. Over 100 families that we've helped over the last five years move out of state. Perhaps you are um, inherited a property uh, or you've been appointed as an administrator mm-hmm. on a home. And it's in probate. Mm-hmm. And you got to make a decision. We are now probate experts. We, we've done a lot of probate. We've done a lot of probate. Especially recently. Uh, yeah. Go over to our, our um, Instagram, please. You can watch Todd and I doing a pogo stick. Um, <laughs> we actually found that at one of the probates uh, that's coming up here. Uh, and so... Yeah, we, we like to have fun while we're doing we it. Do. So, we do. You know, if you find a pogo stick in a garage, you, you got a pogo. 
Come you know, on. Our jobs have a lot of ups and downs, <laughs> and we just had to show it in real life. All right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, uh, we hope this has been helpful for you as you think through what you're looking for. There are agents that are at the top of their game that have 20-some years' experience that have lived through hundreds and hundreds of transactions, and they're going to put that experience to you. Mm-hmm. I'm one of those. That's right. There are those that are newer in the business that are not full-time, mm-hmm. that uh, may need the commission badly enough to say, whatever you want, I'm going to do it for free mm-hmm. if I had to. Mm-hmm. Um, that You have to ask yourself, is that what you're looking for? Mm-hmm. If that's what you need and that's in your best interest, do it. Mm-hmm. But if uh, you are not in that position and you want someone to help navigate you through uh, the difficulties and the uniqueness of your home in today's market, by all means, reach out to somebody that you like, know, and trust, or if it's a stranger, but you have heard about them like us, uh, give us a call. Yep. We'd love to talk to you. Todd, what's our phone number? 833-305-BALD. <laughs> That's 2253. 833-305-2253. And you can go to baldbrothers.tv yeah. and find all of our information there as well. Thank you for listening. We hope this has been a great Home Sellers Advantage episode to give you the upper hand when it comes to selling your house. God bless. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Home Sellers Advantage. The Bald Brothers team is a licensed DBA of Real Broker, licensed by the California Department of Real Estate, number 02022092. Again, we do not give any real estate, legal, or financial advice. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can call us at 833-305-BALD. Or you can reach us online at baldbrothers.tv. Equal housing opportunity.